She's a very special little girl. Oh. She came when she was very small to to the to our place. Yes, I like her. She she is two years yeah. old. When we heard that the President Booker was coming, we were just really excited, obviously, because there were so many messages that, you know, we could convey to him. You know, I wanted to talk about the elephant and pangolin, those are my two passion passions and two issues that needed to be dis discussed. Isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah. Very beautiful. <laughs> Her in the wild. Yes, she's been left by her family. We don't know why. We took him on a tour around and introduced him to some of the animals here. And there were certain animals like the giraffe and the elephant. His whole face just lit up, you know, when he was he was close by them. And this big smile, and he was genuinely, genuinely interested and genuinely concerned about, you know, what what the challenges are and what the stories are. This is Moses, and Moses is going to explain to you about our very sacred animal, the pangolin. Under threat, he kills up into um, a very solid oh. ball. Oh. He, he asked a lot of questions about, about that, but what he also asked was um, how he could help um, conservation efforts in Zimbabwe, so we discussed that as well. Because obviously our, our cultural heritage and and our national heritage, um, wildlife is very important, as it is in China. So we had that in common to discuss. He just gave me a beautiful, beautiful vase with um, the panda on it. And um, it's, about, it's about this big. It's really, very beautiful. I was very interested obviously in the panda, so he was telling me about the, um, the panda breeding initiatives that you have in China and also about um, the very significant expansion of wildlife areas or, or natural, naturally preserved areas. And um, I thought that was very significant that he's, he's making such big strides in, that, in his own country. I do actually because I think once again it puts it puts wildlife on a global stage um, and particularly for the people in China of which is there is a significant population and and people follow their president very closely so for them to see him taking an interest was hugely hugely important in I feel Oh, he is the most delightful man. I mean, it would be a dream to meet him again. He's wise, he's full of grace, he really listens. He, I mean, he's, he's the absolute epitome, epitome of a true leader, you know.